Hi, my name is Ryan Israel and I'm a tech lead for Juniper Network Certification Program. This learning bite is on security policy schedulers. Security policy schedulers are uh, fairly straightforward, but um, I wanted to do a learning bite on them because uh, they are often uh, mis um, misconfigured. Here's some uh, features of security policy schedulers. They allow you to activate a policy during a, um, a specific time. Uh, so if you have certain traffic that you only want to allow during a certain time period, you could apply a, a scheduler to it. And this uh, time period could be for a single occurrence, so it'll only happen one time, or um, a recurrent uh, time, so it'll, it could happen every day at a certain time, or once a week at a certain time, you know, however you uh, configure it. Another, uh, another feature would be that um, uh, once this time period in the scheduler ends, then all associated sessions also time out. Another feature would be that you could create one scheduler and apply it to multiple policies. The, the one thing that you can't do is you can't apply multiple schedulers to a single policy. Now let's move on to a, a configuration example. The policy example on the left shows the scheduler sched1 uh, applied to it. So um, during 12 o'clock to, uh, to 4 o'clock every day except Sunday, the users will be permitted. But I, I showed you the example uh, like this because once, once 4 o'clock comes and this uh, policy is no, more, no longer activated, the policy below is still permitting that traffic. So um, that's one thing to, to take account for or to keep in mind when you're when you're creating these schedulers or when you're applying these schedulers is that um, you don't have another policy that's going to allow the same traffic so I'm kind of defeating the purpose of the scheduler so um, in the case of this you're going to want to make sure that you have another policy after after this uh, um, policy that you have the scheduler that's going to deny this traffic um, and then um, the examples of the scheduler, the, the very first one there gives you an example of a reoccurrent scheduler. So every day from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock, the policy that it's applied to is going to allow that traffic. Um, except on Sunday, then that traffic won't be allowed on Sunday during those time frames. And then the uh, the second example, schedule or sched2, um, gives you an example of a single uh, time frame where on January 1st at midnight, to January 2nd at midnight, the policy that you applied that to will allow the given traffic, but after that it'll no longer um, be active. For uh, example, this is the uh, topology we'll be using, just a simple topology where we'll apply a uh, scheduler on the SRX to a security policy to allow uh, users to reach the FTP server. Okay, we're logged into the uh, the SRX device now, and let's uh, take a look at our um, our security policy. Okay, so we have a uh, policy that allows uh, users to uh, to permit FTP traffic, and we have a scheduler applied. So let's take a look at the scheduler, and the scheduler that is applied is the uh, from 12 p.m. to 1500 okay so the current local time here is uh, uh, one o'clock so we should be good to go and if we go to our user um, we're unable to to reach the FTP server okay let's go see why uh, the um, the current security policy that we're using should be um, should be active but it's disabled um, let's look at um, the system time and so I am um, I'm in uh, the Pacific time zone I'm thinking Pacific time frame for um, when I want a policy open and the device is set for Eastern time zone. So um, for so when you're creating your schedulers 
for a device, um, make sure that uh, what you're thinking and, and what the device is set for uh, match up or else um, policies may not um, be active during the time that um, that you want them to. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, go ahead and fix that. And I'll just, um, well, it's currently uh, after 1600, so we'll, we'll set that to stop at um, 5 o'clock. Now I could go ahead and commit that, um, and it will commit, but the um, the first time with the the 1500 will take precedence, so it'll still be it'll still be deactivated. So let's go ahead and uh, remove that one. Okay, let's go ahead and commit that. Okay, now that that's committed, let's go ahead and verify that the... policy is now active, so now it's enabled. And we're able to reach the FTP server. Um, so two things to, to think about when um, creating schedulers is one, um, the uh, system time of the device, and then also um, policy order. Make sure that there's no um, policy issues as, as we discussed on uh, the config examples. This concludes our learning bite on security policy schedulers. For more information, you could take our course, uh, Juno's course, JSEC, or online uh, via our technical documentation, specifically the security policies for security devices for J-Series and SRX devices. Thank you. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.